All right, welcome to the board exams uh, lecture review. Uh, today we're going to discuss about uh, mandibular movements, okay? Some of the rules. Now, the mandibular movements, um, you have to understand the basics of uh, occlusion, okay? And you have to understand uh, centric stops and which teeth occlude uh, which, with uh, other teeth, okay? We have, if you haven't re reviewed the lecture on uh, dental occlusion and related structures, then you may not fully understand, but you have to, so it, the exams have, have changed. Now they are asking, they, they give you more of a description instead of a drawing of the movement, and you have to decipher which side the mandible move to, okay? So... We're going to go to the to the principles and some of the rules. All right. All right. So, review of the key rules. All right. So, when you when you are answering uh, questions on the on the on in the on the manual movements, you you have you have to identify. Okay, one the you have to identify the cusp, okay, that occludes at the base of the arrow, okay? And then you have to identify the mandibular movement, okay? Identify mandibular movement depicted by the arrow okay and the second rule okay is that each supporting cusp okay has its own centric stop or occluding area in maximum intercuspation okay so so you have to you have to ask yourself which cusp okay what cusp what cusp what cusp occludes with the area in question okay so and then once you are you know what what cast occlude in that area then you are going to ask yourself what quadrant is this what quadrant is it okay so always have to ask yourself that okay so let's apply some of the rules here so what quadrant is so first of all you have to identify okay identify the occluding cusp all right and you have to remember that the buccal cusp of the mandibular premolars as we mentioned in the previous uh, uh, dental occlusion and related structures the, the buccal cusp of mandibular premolars occlude with the opposing mesial marginal ridges. Okay. Or the me, me, uh, or, or the mes, uh, the mesial fossa. Okay. So the, the the teeth which occlude here, the one is going going to occlude here is going to be the mandibular first premolar right and the cusp which you're going to occlude on this marginal ridge is going to be the mandibular second premolar buccal cusp of course so and then you know and then you know that 
this quadrant so is this is this uh, is this a maxillary or, or mandibular teeth with that which are shown so you can see the shape okay the occlusal shape this occlusal shape here okay it's almost like a rhomboid so this is a maxillary arch and you have to identify is it right or left so because we're looking at the occlusal surface so this is going to be the right side okay this is the right side right side of maxilla okay this is the maxillary quadrant so always pay attention to the to the shape okay of the teeth uh to determine which arch okay because when they when usually when they give you a drawing it's it's the drawing is um the the, the teeth is are depicted according to the arch they are found in okay now the they used to get usually there all used to be some imaging but uh then they change the from the imaging to the description they just describe and then you have to answer okay so you have to know where they, they cusp occlude and um, you have to know what kind of mandibular movements uh, has to be made for specific description and now it's changing to integrated exam so now you 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 you, you, are, you may have a, a picture or you may not or you may have a just a description okay all right so just make sure you know the principles of occlusion Okay, so here the second one uh, again. What what what? So you have to. So now we know this is a maxillary. What 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 arch is it? Is a maxillary arch. Is it a left or right quadrant? It's the right maxillary quadrant. Okay, and they are showing these uh, dots. These dots are in the mesial fossa or the marginal ridges. Okay, so. Which teeth are going to occlude here? So you know that the teeth which are closed are going to occlude here are some of the mandibular teeth. So on the first smaller, so you know that the mandibular teeth occlude with the, the tooth they, they correspond it with and then the tooth in front of it. So the mandibular first smaller, the mesial buccal cusp, okay, is going to occlude right here. So here, the mesial buccal cusp cusp of mandibular first molar. Okay, is going to occlude there. How about here? What which which one is going to occlude there? Okay. So it's also going to be the mesial buccal cusp. Okay, mesial buccal cusp of the mesial buccal cusp of mandibular second molar. Okay, so you have to know centric uh, occlusion where where the centric stops for each tooth go, and we mentioned in the previous lecture that the 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 mandibular teeth usually they occlude. With the same tooth in the opposing arch and the tooth next to it, the tooth mesial to it, the maxillary teeth they occlude with a with a similar tooth in the opposing arch and the tooth distal to it. Okay. All right. How about here? So here we know we've already identified the arch. This is the right maxillary arch. A quadrant and um, now you have the central central fossa okay so central fossa so what was going to occlude here so you have the distal buccal distal buccal cusp of mandibular first molar 
and here you have the this tobacco cusp of mandibular second molar. Okay. So this is so you, when you practice where well, each 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 one uh, occludes, then you you become better. Okay. So you have to keep on practicing. How how about the next one? How about this one here? Okay. On the in the distal fossa or or distal marginal ridge. So which two? So this is the this is a maxillary arch. Uh, right quadrant you have this is the maxillary first molar so if this is the maxillary first molar and it's the right side what number is this this is tooth number three right so what this is this is this is tooth number three the tooth which is going to occlude here okay is going to be tooth number 30, which is the mandibular first molar, right? So, what, which which one is going to occlude here? So, the cusp which is going to occlude here is the the distal cusp. Remember, the mandibular first molar has a fifth cusp, which is a distal cusp. Distal cusp of mandibular first molar. Okay. Make sure you keep that in mind. The more you practice, the more you remember these things. Okay, they don't just come, say bingo. You have to understand the principles. Okay, but instead of giving this picture, they can ask you, what cusp occludes in the distal fossa of tooth number three? Okay, then it's going to be the distal cast of uh, tooth number 30. Oh, if, if they describe, the, if they don't give the numbers, great. Well, how about uh, what, what, what cast occludes in the distal force of tooth number 14? You have to know that tooth number 14 is also the left maxillary uh, first molar. So you know that it's going to be the, the distal cast of, the distal buckle cast of uh, tooth number 19 is going to occlude in there so these things you have to keep in mind so they may not give you a picture but when do, during this time if they give you a picture great if they don't if they just give you a description then you just by practicing this you, then you know exactly what they're asking about and you you know the answer okay so these are things which you can improve on these are like uh, easy points okay because once you get it you get it All right, so now here you have to identify, you have to identify uh, what cast, first of all, what arch is this? This is from the morphology of the teeth. You can see there are a little bit of like a rectangular teeth on the occlusal. So this is mandibular arch, All right? So mandibular arch facing up, is this right or right?